Well, it is day two of jury selection in the trial of the father of the Oxford High School shooter. And on day one, the potential 300 jurors face pretty tough questions from the judge and attorney. Well, James Crumbly is charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter, the very same charges that led to the conviction of his wife just last month. We have 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell live in front of the courthouse this morning. So, Peter, how are jurors being chosen for round two of this unprecedented case? Well, on day one, cameras were not allowed inside of the courtroom, and that's going to be the same rule today going into day two. But the judge did remind these potential jurors that media coverage and the fact that the prosecutors are saying that this could be the evidence of potential gun ownership rights is not evidence. Jury selection in the trial for James Crumbly, the father of the Oxford High School shooter who took the lives of four students and injuring many others in the November 2021 shooting began on Tuesday. James Crumbly is facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter. You can strike a jury uh, member based on some kind of bias if they have some predetermined view. There's a lot of moving parts with a total of 300 potential jurors, and among the potential jurors included a full-time IT worker, a grocery store worker, an engineer, and a real estate broker. Two of the potential jurors, a third-year medical student, and a cancer patient were excused due to scheduling conflicts. This is where either the defense or the government can strike a juror based on something that's less than bias but generally a feeling that the person may not be sympathetic. Adam Wright, a University of Detroit Mercy Law professor and a former federal prosecutor, discusses the process of picking an impartial jury for a two-week trial. The challenge for the defense side is going to be the set of facts relating to the purchase of the gun. And just over a month ago, James's wife, Jennifer Crumbly, was tried on the same charges and was found guilty during her own trial. The argument prosecutors are making and are saying is key in this case is that he was the one who bought the gun used in the Oxford High School shooting and failed to properly secure the firearm, along with the gross negligence ignoring the troubling signs his son exhibited at the school. James and his wife Jennifer left their son at the school after they were urged to get their son help. That happening just hours before the tragedy. And the jury sele selection process will begin once again at 8.30 this morning. In Pontiac, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. So many eyes on this case, Peter. We appreciate your reporting. And of course, we're following this landmark trial of James Crumbly every step of the way. Be sure to stay with 7 Action News both on air and at WXYZ.com for the very latest.